when I was young, I wanted to be a writer or be a pilot or be a rancher. Being a rancher, you can be all three. I think nature or being outside is a healing process. It moves you in a way that nothing else does. It puts you back on the, you know, a foundation that's real. There's nothing fake about nature. My grandchildren are the fifth generation. There's nothing else I can imagine doing. Most people think that uh, being a cowboy or living on a ranch is walk in the park. It's the most highly romanticized lifestyle. And then there's also another group that think that ranching is a mining process, that you hurt the land because you're trying to make money from it by grazing. And uh, both are very false. Ranching is a way of life. For me, it's been a way of being able to raise a family. Dogs have played a really big role in ranching. And if you can train a dog well and he has a good sense, they're, they're worth, you know, five, six, seven really good people. They can do so much. They can also get in trouble faster than anybody else. You know, if you don't have control of them, and a dog can really screw things up. I first uh, got Jam when he was born as a puppy. Uh, we bred a female border collie that we owned with a friend's hanging tree. We thought that a mix between a hanging tree and a border collie would be a good mix. The hanging tree breed is known for its toughness, for its bite, so it'll go in and actually bite an animal, whereas a border collie is more of an eye animal. So we thought that a combination of border collie and a hanging tree dog would create something that would be the best for what we need. Sometimes Jams gets himself in trouble because he's so, he's our nuclear weapon. And he's, he's something, he's a dog that is frustrating sometimes because he is so caught up in what he's doing with an animal that he doesn't hear, doesn't even know that we're there. And so you have to shake him sometimes and say, hey, you need to pay attention. But that's one of the cool things about him, that he's so independent. Jam disappeared, I don't know, a month ago? It just was gone for several days. And that was really sad, you know, because you never think about he's going to be gone all of a sudden, you know, and he's gone, and you're going, what am I going to do now, you know? It's just, he's one of our family, he's one of who we are. And then all of a sudden, one of the guys sends a text. Jam is back. <laughs> and there he was, he's skinny. I think what happened, it's a guest. Someone picked him up and it took him somewhere. And, and when he got loose, he came back. So he knows where home is. He knows long distances. Sometimes you lose something and you don't realize until then how special that was. You know, one of the things I love most about ranching is the, is the people that you work with, you know, because we're, we're a small community that work together, play together, fight together, cry together. We all know everything about each other. Someone needs to do the farming, and that's a huge job that Jonathan does, and someone needs to do the irrigation that Jackie does. You know, someone needs to do the cattle that Oliver does and that Meredith does and that I do. And so 
you know, and there's vehicles and machinery that need to be repaired, welded. Uh, there's animals that need to be watched all the time. You know, we have dinner parties, we go swimming together, we go, you know, a lot of times do, do fun things too. So we're not always working. I'm lucky to have such great people to live with and to work with. I was raised on a very, very um, isolated ranch. It was my heaven. What I didn't realize is that one day I'd have the same thing, but in a different way. You never can predict the future because it's always gonna be different than what you want. But the other thing that people don't realize is it'll always be better. But it will only be like that if you believe that will happen. And if you keep working, keep working, keep working, you get off the ground and you get knocked down, it happens. And I tell young people, you have to follow your heart because if you follow your heart, everything else follows. Money, friends, a good life. When I was young, I wanted to be a writer, or be a pilot, or be a rancher. I am a rancher. Thank you.